Today we'll be creating this motion poster design in After Effects. Create a new composition. I'm going to choose 1000 by 1000 and set this to 10 seconds long and rename this main comp. Hit OK and text tool and type in my text. Size it up and align it to the center. And I'm going to create a new solid for the background. BG for background and I'm going to create a red solid move it below the text layer and what I'm gonna do is change this Nike text to something like black color and go to the effects and presets and type in transform and drag and drop this transform on that text all right so let's go to the skill here and make it a negative 18 degrees and I'm gonna move it somewhere somewhere to the top hold down shift and drag it up so it moves only to the on the y axis so animate the anchor point here so i'm gonna hit, hold down shift on the keyboard and hit page down twice and set a keyframe and go back to the first and move it away and this is what i have hit u on the keyboard and select all the keyframes f9 for easy ease all right so what i'm gonna do is duplicate and move it down here and i'm gonna duplicate keep on making the duplicate of the text and drag it down what like what i'm doing here and i'm gonna offset the position of the text select all the layers hit u on the keyboard and let's make some room here select this hold down shift and click on the first layer and move here and I'm gonna do the same again here and it's like offsetting the timing you know so I'll do something like this so all right once I have this I'm gonna select all the layers and pre-compose it right click and pre-compose and rename this BG text hit OK and I'm gonna even scale it up hit s to bring up the key the scale and scale it up to something like this and what you have is this so once you're done with that i'm going to create a text just do it right so make it white color and center it to the composition and scale it down and i'm going to select this background text hit t on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and lower the opacity to somewhere around here and what I'm gonna do is pre-compose this text control shift and C to pre-compose it I'll rename this title hit OK and if I go inside this title and select this and you know we'll crop the text do something like this go to composition and crop comp to region of interest and make sure you align it to the center of the composition again here so go back to the main composition and go to the effects and presets and type in motion tile and drag and drop this motion tile there and i'm gonna increase this to maybe around 400 if we want this text to be closer to each other can go inside the text crop this again and even smaller than that just like so and I'm going to composition, crop comp to region of interest and select the text, align it to the center of the composition once again and go to the main composition and you see that you, are, you have a text closer to each other. So that's about it and let's go and animate the text here, right? So set a keyframe here at the beginning of the timeline, go to the last and drag it up and what you have is this. Here I'm going to animate another thing which is the output height and set a keyframe right about here for the height, set a keyframe here and go to the first uh, frame and set this to zero and what you have is this. Maybe I'm going to drag it away somewhere here so once the background starts appearing, F9 for easy ease. Alright so once you are done with that, let's go and drag in our shoes which is this one and this is the shoes and right off the bat I'm gonna select this pen behind tool and select and shift this anchor point to somewhere here 
and I'm gonna drag another shoe which is number two here drag and drop it and I'm gonna scale and you know roughly align it to the previous shoe and I'm gonna do the same for this select this pen behind tool and move this anchor point somewhere here all right so let's shut the eye off for the second shoe and let's work on the first animation of this shoe so hit P on the keyboard hold down shift and R to bring up the rotation we're gonna animate this rotation and position right so what I'm gonna do here is right at somewhere here I'm gonna set a keyframe for the rotation and the position I'm gonna come back somewhere here and you know move these to the X axis and move the rotation upwards somewhat like this and select these two keyframes F9 for easy ease and what you have is this once you have that we'll hold the frame so hold down shift and hit page down once twice in fact so set a blank keyframe and hold down shift and page down twice again somewhere around here I'm gonna drag this away and rotate it downwards the animation you have is that all right so let's go inside the graph editor and just tweak some of the graphs you select this and maybe smoothen this a little bit yes let's go back to the normal timeline all right so that's what I have here and I'm gonna turn on the first shoe I'm gonna copy the keyframes Control C and paste it select this second shoe and control V to paste it so hit U to bring up the keyframes and I'm gonna offset this timing to somewhere here so that once this goes out this black shoe comes in and I'm gonna delete the last keyframe so that it stays there all right so let's work on the text on top of the shoe and changing the color once the different shoe slides in so first of all let's duplicate this title control D and move it above here go to the project panel and find this title control D to duplicate it select this title hold down alt on the keyboard and drag and drop it on top of that so that it replaced that text so go inside this title select this and swap this color so that you have only the stroke so if you go back to the main composition you just have this so that's really cool All right so let's change the color once this slides in gradient gradient four color gradient and drag and drop it on the background here let's pick the color of the shoe the rough selection we're gonna tweak the colors once we select this let's see what we have here all right so let's uh, make this something like dark color select this shoe hit U on the keyboard and once you have it here I'm going to select this and set a keyframe for all the four colors right at this keyframe and once this slides in I'm gonna change this color to you know black or whatever color you like you can just you know change it uh, like you desire so I'm gonna choose something like black and even this too and you'll have to change the the background text as well so this is the background text I can just uh, go and search for you know fill and uh, drag and drop it on the background text and right at this point I'm gonna ch change it back to you know black it was black black here and set a keyframe for this color at this keyframe and once the new shoe slides in I'm gonna change back the you know color to a yellow or whatever color you like and even change this text and copy this color and I'm gonna change this uh, you know this title text so right at this point select this title control V to paste it maybe change it back to oops hit U to bring up the keyframes select this and it was white earlier and to a yellow and I'm gonna change the color of this yellow to a brighter yellow to something like this 
and I'm gonna copy this fill once again and I'm gonna paste it on the title tool here control V to paste it and you have that select the background hit T on the keyboard set a keyframe for the opacity and set this to 100 and you have that if you want to learn more click this video thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in my next video take care